Hello, my name is Michael. I work for United HVAC Motors. Today we're going to go over how you test the power harness on both an X13 and a 2.3 motor. First we're going to go over how to test an X13 motor. The first thing that we're going to go over is how to properly set up your multimeter. We're going to be testing in the AC range, which is voltage AC. We're looking for a voltage for ours to be in the 220 range. So we're going to go ahead and use the 600. If we use the 200, it would be too low. The 600 is too high, but the 600 is the correct one because it's going to be in the range that we're looking for. So on an X13 motor, here's your typical harness right here. It's keyed on one side. You have four different probes here. You may not be able to see it in the picture, but this says on the first one, C, L, G, and N. So this is a 220 motor. So first we're gonna to test to make sure we have 220 volts. To test between, for 220 volts, you're gonna test between L and N. So we're gonna put our probe here and here, and we're reading 246, which is fine. Now, the G is a ground wire, so either L to ground or N to ground should test uh, 120 volts. There's 120 between L to G. And now we're going to test the N to G. So testing between the N to, N to G, we also get 120 volts. The last one is a C. And this has nothing to do with power going into the motor. This has to do with the communications. You have a wire here that's plugged into the bottom of your module. There's probably two of them, maybe a blue one and a white one and it plugs into the bottom port one through five. Um, when you're testing to see if there's power here, if you're in cool mode and you're demanding cool out of your system, the blower motor should turn on. And to test if you have power or not, you test between the C and this wire, and you should get between about 14 and 30 volts. In this case, we get 29, which is still fine. Um, so that's how you test an X13 plug. If you happen to have a 115 volt system and a 115 volt system, your, your line here, the L, is going to be energized at 115 and L to, L to G will be 115 and L to N will be 115 as well. Next, we're gonna go over a 2.3 motor. On a 2.3 motor, this is what your harness looks like. And the way that the power is hooked up to it is these two left ones are going to be 115 and 115. Together, if you test between both of them, you're going to have 230. This middle one is a ground. So either one of these wires to ground will be 115. So that's, that's how a 220 plug is set up. It won't have this loop on it. If you have a loop on your plug, it means that you're in 115 configuration. Everything will still test out the same. 